Hello everyone, in today's segment I'll be talking about the Intel Core i series processors. Now, the Intel Core i series processors is a very high-tech, advanced, what's it called, popular sort of processor. Well, anyways, um, Intel's Core i series is probably used in most computers now that have an Intel processor and it is used in like a lot of computer bills because it's probably one of the best a lot of people like it now today's in today's segment I'll be talking about the comparison between each and which one is best for which one like which one you should get Maybe you want um, one for advanced one and you do not know which one is the best for that. I mean, actually, high-tech gaming. So that's what I'm going to talk about all about the set in this segment. So without further ado, let's start. Now, the Core i3 processor is a dual-core processor with like 3 MB cache and maybe even more. So far, I've only 33 3 MB cache memory level 2 cache memory I think some of them even come with level 3 but anyways the Intel Core i3 is used for home computing school and everyday use I mean like internet maybe making some videos looking at other vids on YouTube just everyday use would be the Intel Core i3 it's very fast and very useful in that way. Now the Intel Core i5 is the same thing like that except a bit faster with an AMB cache. It's quad core and dual core. Has level 3 cache memory. Now um, the while the Core i3 is used for home day media and home day use, home use, the I Intel Core i5 is the same thing for home use and media use in a bit more and a little bit more high powered and gaming. Now the Intel Core i5 can be pretty pricey around three to two to four hundred dollars but it does pack you give you a lot of power <coughs> and needs you need. Now the last processor we'll be talking about is the Intel Core i7. Intel Core i7 is very fast and really pricey, maybe even three to four hundred dollars, and there is even one that's about a thousand bucks. But it gives you very good advanced speed, and it is used for mostly used for gaming and high-powered businesses. Basically, it's used for high-powered stuff. Now they're both basically all in the three gigahertz series. Mm, some may be even in 2 gigahertz a little bit cheaper but it d these all three processors pack a little punch now the difference between these three processors and other processors is that is integrated memory like the integrated talkative like you know it can communicate from directly from the processor to RAM instead of going through the north bridge <coughs> Now AMD did this in 2003, so they had an advantage for at least 4 to 5 years. Well, anyways, that is what I'm talking about for the Intel Core i series. Hope you guys liked this segment today, and thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it.